exploratory testing and agile testing. Now in any agile project, exploratory testing is very important. And let's see what exactly an exploratory testing is and how you can perform exploratory testing in agile project. So exploratory testing is about learning the system as you design and test it. So you do not do the preparatory work before you actually start testing. Uh, when you are doing exploratory testing, you actually learn about the system and design your test cases as you learn about the system. Then test design and execution occur at the same time. So there is no preparatory work upfront in exploratory testing. You do not design your test cases before you execute it. You do the um, design and execution at the same time. It is a guide. It is guided by test charter. So I'll explain what test charter is in uh, the next slide. But uh, test charter is the key thing that guides the exploratory testing. Test, char test charter provides the test condition to cover during time box testing. So there is a time box testing when you are doing uh, exploratory testing and test charter provides the test condition that need to be covered during that time box iteration. Then most recent uh, test results guide the next step. So when you are doing testing in exploratory format, then whatever most recent result you are getting, you decide your next step based on that particular situation or result that you are at that particular moment. Then testers in exploratory testing use both white box and black box test design techniques. So it's not just black box, it's basically combination of white box and black box test design technique. Um, now what is test charter and what information needs to be included in test charter? So test charter is nothing but a document which includes the following information that we are going to discuss now. So um, test charter is uh, contains uh, the information about the actor. So who is going to be uh, using the system? Who is going to use the system? So for example, you have a login portal or you have an administration portal um, or any online portal that you have worked on. And that online portal supports different users to log in. It could be uh, end user or any public user can access, register and access the portal or uh, the same portal can be accessed by the company employees, test managers and other roles that are present in the company. So you define who is going to use the system, whether it's the end user or it's the manager or it's a team lead. So that is uh, the information that needs to go into the actor section of the test charter. Then the second thing in test charter is the purpose what test con conditions or objectives you are trying to cover when you are going to test the system. That's the purpose. The, the third step is the setup. What preconditions or setup is required before you start the test? So for example, um, your test environment should be ready with, with certain um, uh, level of configuration, software, hardware, and the application in certain state before you can actually start your testing. So that goes, uh, that all information goes into the setup section. Then you have the priority, which is basically the importance of the charter. So for example, you're writing a charter and that charter will belong to certain number of user stories or, or certain feature, right? So it could be just one user story or, or a particular feature or an epic. Now, based on the importance of that particular feature or epic or user story, your importance of the charter is also defined. So what is the priority of this charter uh, depends. What is the priority of the user story or the feature for which you are trying to do, um, trying to write this test charter. Um, the next thing is the reference. So you um, provide uh, the reference to the user stories, the related user stories and risks for which you are writing this charter. Uh, the next section is the test data or data. Um, uh, test data is required to carry out testing. So what all test data you need to carry out the particular scenarios or the testing that you are planning in the test charter. The next thing is the activities. So what all activities or possible scenarios you're trying to perform uh, and Oracle note. So how you are going to evaluate the product, whether it meets the expected result that goes into Oracle notes and the variations. So any variations or alternative actions that you want to perform, uh, which are going to complement the activities that are described in the activity section of this charter. So these are the some of the key information that goes into the test charter, which guides the exploratory testing um, sessions. 
Now, what are the heuristics um, which can be applied when you are doing exploratory testing? So heuristics are nothing but rule of thumb that you can apply um, when you are doing exploratory testing. So first thing is um, uh, the crude um, application. So you can apply um, create, read, update, delete. So these are the functionalities that you can apply when you are doing um, the exploratory testing uh, or you can uh, use follow the data. So for example, whatever actions you enter, uh, search, report. So for example, you are searching for certain issues in, uh, in, in the portal. Uh, then you just follow whether there is an option to export these issues or whether um, it, it allows you to print these issues. If there are, there are options, you just follow the actions accordingly. Then you try different variation, configuration variations. If there are uh, configuration changes that are allowed in the system, try doing that. Then uh, are there any constraints uh, in the system? Then, uh, for example, um, you are doing certain operations so for example you are filling up the form and then you try to close that particular window what is the response of the system in that scenario uh, or if there are mandatory field uh, and you do not fill and try to proceed what what uh, how the system behaves now the next thing is the interruptions so if you are uh, doing something and you try to interrupt for example you are midway through logging um, the form and then you try to log off what is the behavior of the system then you can also use multi-use multi-user so multi-user logins um, multi-user trying to log in in the system uh, how the system will behave now what are the useful what is the useful information that needs to be documented so whenever you are doing um, exploratory testing you need to document the information of the finding that you are uh, that you're, you are you that you are getting when you are doing the testing. So for example, uh, the test coverage, how much test coverage has been uh, done for that particular user story based on the um, user stories that you have covered. Then what are your evaluation notes? So what are the findings and observations? What are the risks and strategy uh, that have been covered? So based on the user stories covered, uh, how many high priority user stories or the um, high risk user stories have been covered so you document that information then if there are any issues or doubts um, or any findings for example defects you document that as well and actual behavior what is the actual behavior that you have found so you just either take the screenshot or or take a short video of the recording then the next important thing is to manage the exploratory testing so how are you going to manage the exploratory testing so exploratory exploratory testing is a session based um, can be managed using session based test management technique wherein you can have sessions um, uninterrupted sessions of um, 30 60 120 minutes time box minutes and these sessions will uh, basically uh, be utilized for doing the, the exploratory testing so Test sessions um, include the following, so survey session analysis and deep coverage. So survey session is nothing but initial um, exploratory session with the system to learn how the system works. Then the next session you, you can schedule um, will be time box again for uh, the analysis which will evaluate the functionality and characteristics of, um, of the application. and. Uh, then the third session you could utilize for the more negative and edge case scenario. So when you do this um, sort of session based test management technique, then you uh, have very uh, streamlined session identified for what should be the focus area in each of those sessions. So the next thing is um, what other testing techniques you should be using along with the exploratory testing. So in agile development methodologies, it's not just that exploratory testing is good enough to do the testing. It's just an add-on and an extra benefit that will provide a good quality or better uh, user experience when um, added on top of the other testing techniques, for example, analytical strategy or model-based strategy regression reverse process and standard compliant and consultative strategy so all these strategies uh, along with 
um, exploratory uh, testing is very important. So let's see what all these strategies are. So analytical strategy is uh, something, uh, for example, risk-based strategy or requirement-based uh, testing, which you will anyways do when you are doing uh, your iteration. So you'll get the user story, that sort of requirement for you. And then you will identify the test scenarios and test cases to test for those requirements. So that is analytical strategy. So you'll do that in the sprints. Then you can also have the model-based test strategy, uh, wherein uh, you, uh, the team will build a model based on the actual or anticipated situation of the environment, um, and then test the system accordingly. Then um, regression averse strategy. So um, regression uh, strategy is mostly automated, and um, you try to um, execute any of the regression scenarios that has been identified in the current uh, iteration or in the previous iteration. Um, then there could be also process or standard compliance. So if there is a, a software that you are testing needs to comply with the standards or, or um, the process, then you follow the standard compliance or the process compliance strategy to ensure that those scenarios are being covered. Um, the next strategy you need to use is the consultative strategy. You need to consult the subject matter experts and the business people uh, or the key stakeholder who are knowledgeable in that particular area uh, and ensure that the scenarios that are identified by them uh, or the edge case scenarios are covered as part of the consultative strategy. So all these testing techniques and strategies are important along with the exploratory testing technique that we have discussed in this tutorial. Thank you.